Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. It's been about a month and a half, probably closer to two months since my last video, which was not intentional at all. I really wanted to stay consistent with this YouTube thing and upload videos um, every fortnight to once a month. But unfortunately, life has got in the way. Work has been crazy hectic the last two months, um, which has been equal parts exciting and also super tiring. I haven't had much downtime or free time recently, so filming and editing really just hasn't been at the forefront of my brain at all. But this video has clips from mid-May to early July, so it's quite a chunky a chunky little guy of a vlog, so hopefully that makes up for the fact that I've been MIA a lot. So I'm recording this voiceover without having have looked at this video in quite a few weeks so I can't really remember everything that's in this video but there's definitely um, some punch needle and pigeon making obviously. Um, I think some knitting and also I bring you along with me to my first ever oil painting class and I think a bunch of other stuff as well but yeah, I, I don't have it in me to watch this whole video, so I'm just going to voice over as I watch it to save time. <laughs> This tufting tool is from the 1970s, so I always try and maintain it as best as I can. And because I've been tufting like a bloody mad woman the last few weeks, um, it's been showing a little bit more wear and tear than usual. So I'm just making sure to clean out all the crevices where the yarn fibers collect and giving it a good oil. Because otherwise it goes really squeaky, which is just the worst noise in the world. And the needles start to warp and go out of shape, which is obviously not ideal. Anyway, here she is, all cleaned up and lovely. My tripod arm doubles as a really good bird stand. <laughs> what are you doing, bird? <laughs> I got my little um, peanuts hooks 
that I got from Oxford in my previous vlog up on the wall and they look so cute. I ended up, um, I had like a shelf here which I got rid of because um, I needed more storage. Budgie feathers everywhere. Um, so it doesn't look as nice but it does give me a bit more space down here which is good. And then I rearranged my books because I had them all like in one stack and it was so ridiculous. Oh, that was really messy still, that looks better. So I got, where are they? Oh, I got a new mic because my last one is just not very good. Oh, so pretty. Hello, um, it's 10 to 6 on Saturday and I really don't feel like working any longer. The weather's kind of nice and I haven't left the house all day so I'm feeling a little bit stir crazy but I really do need to get as much done on this punch needle piece as possible. I'm currently working on, let me see if I can show you. I should probably clip this mic to myself, maybe. Uh, I'm working on a heli cushion. I'm, I feel like I've barely made a dent, <laughs> but this part does take quite a while because I'm like constantly changing the yarn. Uh, once I make it to the background, it should be quite, uh, quite quick from there. But. Yeah, I just don't want to work anymore today. It's such a long week, but I think tomorrow we're gonna go for breakfast somewhere and go for a walk. So just need to push through tonight and then tomorrow I can relax a little. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do any more. Uh, just <laughs> not feeling it, so I don't wanna force it. We'll just have to work a little harder tomorrow, I guess. I'm gonna pack this up and then maybe paint for a little while or back in my sketchbook or something. 
Uh, I want to get some new sticker designs made up if I can. I'm just going to pack this up so I can get it out quite easily tomorrow. don't want to have to keep putting away the, the yarn and getting it back out again. I'm just going to put it in my trusty Bagu bag. Add more paint, more oil, and it gets thicker and thicker. Oh, right, yes, because <laughs> that is something we will do one week where you will do prime your paper with acrylic. I forgot to bring a box or something to carry this in, so it's just on the floor. It is hot as balls in the UK today. This is chalky milk in a Snoopy mug because I'm a 30 year old child. I found some Wool in the Gang on eBay recently, which I was so excited about because I wanted to try this Take Care Mohair for a really long time. And it still has the original price. Uh, they're 14 pounds each and I got three for seven pounds each, which I thought was a bargain. And I love this color, it's the candy apple green. And it's so pretty. This is my last full ball because I have been knitting this little cardigan. I've been feeling very, very clever that I managed to knit this piece because <laughs> it was my first top down um, cardigan and I only had to frog part of it once um, and I haven't knitted in um, well I learnt last year properly and then I haven't knitted anything I've done this earlier on this year but I just haven't been knitting consistently so I didn't think I would remember how to do anything or like well I've never knitted top down anyway but I just I wasn't feeling very optimistic that I would be able to do it. I am going to add a bit of length to the sleeves, but I am going to keep them short. And then a bit more length on the body, because it's a little bit too cropped. And then I need to find some cute buttons. Uh, I'll have a look at my stash, but if not, we might need to go charity shopping to find some nice ones.
my boyfriend found this juvenile jackdaw in the middle of the road when he was driving to work and there wasn't anywhere safe nearby to move him to um and obviously didn't want to see him get run over so he brought him home and we were going to take him to a rehab place but it was 9 a.m so like rush hour so we just had him chilling in the studio in this little tub whilst waiting for traffic to die down and he was so gorgeous anyway he's back in the wild now which is fabulous news Oh my god, this looks so good. Okay, let's eat. buttons. Am I tripping or is that a different dialogue? 